Hello guys, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Yawa Simpisachire, your favorite agribusiness hustler right here. And this is a continuation of, you know, the video I posted concerning the fact that is it, is it okay to still plant when you are in May? To plant maize while you are in May, in the month of May? Now, I have had a lot of reactions. I've had a lot of, you know, inquiries concerning the subject. Now, it has come important that we we get to realize the fact and the truth okay that we are what we are facing the truth is that the rains has been very inconsistent we are not getting enough rains at the right time when we are supposed to get them okay and when it happens like this what can you do we cannot control the rains we are not doing irrigation we are only depending on the rains that we can't control okay now when it happens like this what do we do we are left with choices we can only do what make choices okay and for me and for from my experience the only choice available for us for you to make in in this in this uh, case and scenario will be that you will choose between you know the the the, the major and the minor season because come to think of it you would have wanted to you would have wanted to to do the major season and then um by september by august september you will also do what as you are harvesting the major season you are preparing for the minor season also now here comes the case that we are in may and you you, you don't have enough rains to have started what planting your maize what can you do when it happens like this you can only choose you can only plant once in the whole year because time time is you know too far gone that you can't do both you know uh, both seasons okay now when it happens like this choosing between the major season and the minor season is what i'm here to discuss with you okay because if you should plant if you even if you get rains in the in may and you should plant by the end of may you are not likely to meet the minor season okay now when it happened to me i did this quick you know i made this quick decision and i forgo the major season i forgot about the major season completely okay and the reason why i i left the major season and focus on the minor season is what i want to you know discuss with you you know that we all know that the major season is you know produces this yield of maize that is you know that has high moisture content you know the the products of the major season have high moisture content that one we all know it okay and this is because it has been we have discussed this on this channel now the reason why the major season have high moisture content is that during the time of harvest of the major season which is in august september there is a lot of rains those times are rainy seasons and there's there's less sun there's very small sun for it to what to dry by itself okay now what this means is that if you have if you are able to harvest 10 10 bucks for example what is going to happen is by the time you will send it to be dried you will end up getting eight bucks or seven bucks depending on the moisture content of of the maize okay that is a loss right there okay because if you say if 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 your budget and calculations are that you are going to get 10 bucks okay or 10 bucks of maize and by the time you dry it you get eight or seven bucks you know you've gone you've you've gone you've had shortage of two or three okay but in case in the case of the minor season because there is a lot of sun let me sit down because there is a lot of sun in the minor season in the even during the cultivation and the harvest especially in the harvest you are able to get sun drying you, you are able to get the sun to dry the maize 
and because of this you don't get this kind of shortage that you would have had in the major season so because of that the minor season is always best to choose from if you have both it's good but if you have to choose I suggest you choose the minor season because the minor season you don't have a lot of you know post harvest losses from rains from excessive rains right I hope it is clear you don't have a lot you don't have post harvest loss that arises from excessive rains because we have had a lot of farms a lot of farm maize farm product produce gone waste because of excessive rain okay because we know that the, the uh, where we get our farmlands where we are we are fortunate to get farmlands they are remote areas so when it happens that during harvest you you are not able to bring your produce home and 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 the rains happen to fall during that time you know most of the time there are losses there are harvest losses Okay, so right now that it uh, we are we found ourselves in this situation, we can only act quick and act fast and take the best decision possible. All right, a lot of people um, commented that their farms at the Afram Plains also have those those issues because if you look at you know the rainfall patterns in Ghana, I would have thought that. Uh, farms in the Afram Plains and Eastern region are likely to get more rains. But even they are, you know, complaining. If they are complaining, then farms in BA around the Bono, the Bono East, you know, and the Ahafu regions, what would they say? Okay, so when it happens like this, we are supposed to be what? To be proactive and act as fast as possible. All right. So this is what I have here to tell you today. Let's act fast if you are in this kind of situation and if you are to choose if you are if you are going to have to choose between the major season and the minor season this is what these are the, the things you should consider. The main, the major season the during the harvest of the major season there is high rains. There is high rains and during the harvest of the minor, minor season, because of the hammer time, there is no high rains. There, there is no rains even, and you are able to do what to get your to get the sun to dry your maize even before you harvest it. All right. So thank you. My name is Yao Simpizetire. As always, your favorite agribusiness hustler right here. Until we meet in the next one, which will be a video on our new venture uh cassava farming venture on a single plot don't be left out keep it keep us on post notification and all the information will be here until we meet in the next one is bye bye for now